you need to make sure that you've got the car all the way perfect. So I've spent hours and hours sanding after I primed it. I took it down to bare metal and I, like I said, I primed it and then I had to bondo and bondo and spot putty, all that good stuff. And now I've just got it all ready and I've got it washed down with some soap and water. Well, all the areas I'm going to paint anyway. And then I've got taped off what I don't want. I don't want the seats to get any paint on them. Race seats, my tack, any of that stuff, I don't want it to get painted. And then underneath the hood, I've covered up the engine because, well, I want to paint the engine bay and I didn't do it prior to putting the engine in. So that's where we're at so far. I've covered up everything that I don't want to get any kind of overspray on at all, even the countertop just because I just painted it white. Um, some chairs I've got. And then I've covered up the AC and heater unit for the water. I've even masked off the door. Just trying to take all precautions. I've covered up the heater, the furnace, so that way we don't get any. I gotta cover that area up there. And just completely just kind of blocked, isolated that area off so that we wouldn't get anything on it. You know, just anything valuable that you don't want paint on. And then, yeah. Stuff that you don't really mind, you can leave it uncovered, it doesn't really matter. And then I've also put paper down on the ground where I don't want paint to be hitting or dust coming up. And I've taped those down. So here are the things you're going to need. You're going to need some prep all. I went with this brand, but you can use just regular alcohol. And then you've got your paint, your reducer, which kind of thins the paint out so that way it'll stay on better. And then you've got your clear coat and your hardener. And then you've got your gun. I'll go over the gun settings here now. So there are a couple different parts to this gun, and uh, any gun for that matter that you're going to want to know about. So you've got the tip that's going to go into the air compressor. You've got a air regulator, which tells you how much pressure you're going to be pushing out, and that's how you adjust it. The next piece here is an air filter, which needs some kind of filtration. I don't paint cars a lot, maybe I'll start to and get a better filtration system, but for now, this is all I'm going to use. And then I went with the Protec 4000, and I'm using a 1.3 tip size, and that should cover my base and clear coat. So the first thing you want to start to do is you want to take your degreaser, and you want to wipe down all the surfaces that you've gotten just perfectly ready to go, and so I'm going to do that now. I like to use these shop towels because they're lint free, so that way you don't get any lint on your surface. Cleanliness is next to good paintliness. That's going to show up if you leave it on there. So take a little bit, get your rag wet like that, set the can off to the side and go to work. The reason you don't want to use acetone is because it's a lot heavier and it can actually break down the primer that you've built up. The next thing you want to do is take a tack cloth and you want to wipe down the entire surface. Then you want to grab your paint, crack it open,
going to take your stir stick, make sure you wipe off all the slivers or anything like that. You don't want to get it into your paint. Then you're going to stir it up. If you just had it shook, you don't have to stir it up all that much, but you want to give it a good stir to get it all consistent. And I use auto paint. I don't use Rust-Oleum. Okay, that's looking pretty good right there. So since I covered everything up, I can just take this stir stick, wipe it off pretty good, and just throw it on the table. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your cup, and the paint on this one for the base coat, we're doing a one-to-one -one at about 600 mil, at 600 mils. So a one-to-one -one just is right here. So if we want 600 mils, I'm going to go just below probably 600 mils. So we'll probably do a, a five to, or a four to four. We'll do a four to four. And that'll put us right about where we need to be. Yep. So the way we do this is we just kind of eyeball it and measure it up. You're going to take your reducer and open it up. And stir it. You want to Take your time stirring it because the paint's creating bonds. Then once you get it all stirred up, go ahead and pull the top. I use a vise to hold my gun in place. Grab one of your filters, put it in there, make sure you got your paint all stirred up and nice. See in there we have a good consistency. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pour the paint into the strainer and that will strain all the contaminants out. We'll see how we turned out here. It's about perfect. About this time you want to throw on a respirator. You can throw this old filter away because you don't want to reuse it. Throw on a respirator and get ready to shoot. This is my first time painting a car with a gun and um, my method worked. Um, I'm going to show you guys some of me painting right now. Um, but as you can see in the background, the damn car is blue. So now that I kind of got these mixtures down, I'm going to share them with you to make it a little easier for you when you're doing this yourself. And this is what was recommended to me when I bought the paint. So you get one of these cups, they're usually clean like this, and they've got all the different ratios. One to one, two to one, five to one, six to one to one, all sorts of different stuff on here. Now what I found fills these standard sized pots, um, just perfect. I mean, I got lucky when I did this, so. Um, as you come over here, and I marked them out, because my paint obviously isn't clear. On the clear coat, I can see them. So you've got five, five to, or one to one, so you wanna do five parts paint, five parts reducer. And sometimes if you do a little bit less reducer, that doesn't hurt, um, or a little more paint, a little less reducer, but you want to keep it right about there because that puts you at about 600 milliliters just under and these are 600 milliliters total so you want to be just under that so here I'll show you 
how I do this. So, open up your paint, and if you look down in there, you can see the bottom line right there. So I'm just gonna, whoa. I'm gonna take my paint, and let me make sure you can see this. Okay, and I am going to fill it up just to that line. Like I said, it doesn't really matter if you go over it. You just kind of want to stay under that next line. And since I'm using this all the time, I just press it down really firmly because I'm going to be right back over here using it, so there's no point in opening it all the way back up with a tool every time. And then you open up your reducer. Um, I don't know what other kinds of reducers you can use because this is the first time I've ever painted a car. Um, but it looks like I'm using Grow Automotive HET, so high efficiency technology. And uh, when you pour this, I found that once you get it a little bit lower, it's quite a bit safer to kind of hold it up against this and watch your mark. That way it doesn't pop up in your eye. So I doubt you'd want to get this in your eye. And you should be wearing safety glasses and gloves. I'm not wearing gloves today. I should be. And then take your stir stick. I've just been using the same one. I've kept it on this clean sheet of plastic. So, and you just want to mix it up. Um, you don't have to do this forever, but you know, just get it blended well. Maybe like 10 seconds or something, five seconds. I don't know. And it's going to be kind of a, a milk sort of uh, consistency. And then what you want to do is you want to open up your lid. And this is very important because I just made this mistake. And if I can help anybody else not make this mistake, it'd be great. But wipe your lid because it will drip onto your surface. And it really sucks. So just don't do that. Then you want to take one of your strainers. Uh, if the people you buy it from are nice, they'll give you a bunch of them. And uh, you just basically plop that right in there like that. I like to grab one side and then I'll just pour it. And I'll kind of lift it up off of there. Um, so I can see how high it's getting. And uh, I mean, I know where it's going to land up, so. that and then you could just take this and set it right into your your mixing station thing just like that and then throw your lid on make sure it's on correctly <laughs> and uh, uh, just for safe measure go ahead and just make sure you get any loose wet paint off because that like I said is not fun I'm on code number two, and I mean, it is, it's looking really good. I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. So you can still still see some of the um, primer, uh, sanding marks and stuff like that, but I mean, it's, it's looking really good. So I am definitely happy in. For the clear coat, we're gonna use four parts clear, one part, activator. That was sloppy. Make sure you put lids on both of them, so that way they don't have time to evaporate any of the chemicals. Take a new stir stick and just like before, make sure there aren't any slivers. And go ahead and stir it up. And even though this looks clean and clear and under control, you still want to grab a strainer.
and run it through a strainer. You see how well I did this time. And it was a little under what I thought, but it worked just fine. Good start. Clear coats the exact same way. It's not perfect, it's exactly all I need. So that was a method for how you can paint your own car at home. Stay tuned, I'm going to do a quick tip video that I should have done on Wednesday, but I got pretty busy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you that quick tip video on how to clean your paint gun coming up in the next episode. So if you're watching this in the future, I'm sorry for the confusion, but there's a quick tip video on how to clean your paint gun. <laughs> And if you like what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe.